All right, these are the results of the AD strip analysis for the 1919 Winthrop film. And what we have here are the AD strips, stands for acid detection. They come out of the bag, they are blue. It's a very neutral color. The point of the test is to measure the acidic rate of acetate off-gassing for film. So, um, these films were all taken out, left out at room temperature, uh, beginning approximately 72 hours ago. Uh, in accordance with the recommended guidelines for the step for the tests for AD strips. When you take out the film out of the bag, notice the difference in color. This is the AD strip as it originally looks very dark blue. Compare it to the pencil that was supplied to measure the colors for acetate off gassing. This is a very normal range when we get into the green ranges. This is a, a lighter green. This is a darker green. And yellow. Yellow is a very extreme range. When we take the pencil and we can compare it to the film, this first roll, it's very close to this color right here, which is around 1 on the scale. 1 is fair to good. Deterioration is starting. So the recommendation is to put these films into cold storage and to monitor closely. Mm. So at this point with the 1919 film, we are entering from probably the 0 0.5 up to the 1 range for this particular reel. And we will verify this reel with the others. And again, it's, uh, it's closer more towards the blue than it is to the olive color. So somewhere between 0 0.5 and 1. And then doing a visual inspection of each one of these reels. We can confirm that it's a fairly consistent mm -hmm. test between 0 0.5 and 1. And that's actually quite fortunate for us. It means that there is a little bit of deterioration that's taking place, more at a very fair level of deterioration. But we do need to place these into cold storage. Cold storage is something that's much much more stringent value recommendation for film and motion picture for long-term permits. And uh, that pretty much concludes the test for the 1990s.